Okay, so the secretary got back on Friday. Uh, as he was flying back, Israel was beginning its retaliation, began and finished its retaliation, well, maybe finished its retaliation against Iran. Uh, I'm wondering what you can say, one, about that, and then two, about <clears throat> your efforts, such as they are, to try to get ceasefires for both Gaza and Lebanon. Yeah, sure. On the first, so as you heard us made clear, starting on October 1st, when Iran launched its unprecedented ballistic missile attack, 200 ballistic missiles uh, launched from Iran uh, at the state of Israel. Israel had a right to respond to that attack. We supported their right to do so. Um, they um, responded on Friday night. We believe this should be the end of that of the matter. As you know, because we talked about it quite publicly, we were communicating with them for nearly four weeks about the nature of their response and making sure that their response should be one that would be proportionate and would not in any way lead to further escalation. We believe that was the nature of the response and that Iran should not respond in any way. And that if Iran does not respond in any way, or I'm sorry, if Iran does respond in any way, we will continue to defend Israel. Um, when it comes to the conflicts in Gaza and Lebanon, so as you know, negotiators uh, met over the weekend to um, discuss how we can capitalize on the opportunity presented by Yahya Sinwar's death to try to move forward negotiations and get to an end of the war. I'm not going to get into the substance of the negotiations, but as the Secretary said last week, um, uh, we wanted to see whether there are new formulations, new permutations of the deals that have been on the table to see if there's a way to break the logjam that we've been at uh, and move forward and finally get an end to the war. And um, we will continue to pursue that. And then when it re relates to the conflict in Lebanon, I don't know, have any new updates from what the Secretary said last week. Okay. Uh, on the Iran retaliation, are you satisfied with the, that uh, the Israelis listened to your advice and counsel? We do believe that the, uh, well, let me say, first of all, so you heard the President say publicly uh, a couple of things that he thought should not be included in the response. And if you look at the response uh, that Israel launched, it did not include uh, uh, nuclear-related targets or attacks on economic sites. Um, the response from Israel was limited to military sites, which was entirely appropriate given the nature of the attack by Iran. So we do think it was a proportionate response that should not lead to further escalation by Iran, and we certainly hope that Iran will not further escalate the conflict. Thanks.